At its core, blockchain is accounting software. That's right, it's just a way to track the movement of value from point A to point B. But what sets it apart from old-fashioned double-ledger accounting is there's no need for a trusted central third party to audit the transactions and assure everything is in the right place. A blockchain is called a blockchain because the transactions are settled in batches called blocks. All the information in the previous block of transactions is smashed down into a tiny bit of data called a hash that is then stored in the next block, linking the batches together into a chain. But how do we know a Bitcoin has left one location called a wallet and gone to another location? How do we know the original wallet didn't send the same cryptocurrency to two different places at the same time? To ensure an object, any object, has value, its supply must be controlled. With blockchain, this is achieved through an audit process called mining. Anyone with a computer and an internet connection can participate in this audit process by downloading code. The code lets users run what is called a node that sees all the transactions on the blockchain. This specialized node expends computing power to analyze the blockchain and ensure it's accurate. These nodes compete against each other to solve the problem and in exchange for their work have the chance to be rewarded with Bitcoin. To move cryptocurrency on a blockchain, you have to have what is called a private key. To receive money, all you need to do is share the public key and wait for the funds to roll in. Every time a block of transactions is settled, the funds move to the new location. The process takes about 10 minutes for Bitcoin compared to about three days for most banks, and some cryptocurrencies are even faster. With 30 million Bitcoin wallets alone in existence and 8 billion people on Earth, cryptocurrency has the power to become a true global currency and change finance forever.